special session of the state legislature reconvened today as lawmakers are working to find property tax relief for Coloradans. But the session is already marred in controversy as Democrats expand the purpose of the session beyond just property tax relief. Good evening. I'm Kelly Worthman. Thank you for joining us tonight. Political specialist Sean Boyd has been at the Capitol all day watching as the session plays out, and she now explains that things have gotten pretty heated. The special session has turned the state capitol into a pressure cooker, while the temperature has dropped considerably tonight. Democrats and Republicans continue to disagree over how much relief the state can and should provide, and where the money to backfill local governments should come from. We should be talking about what is in the best interests of our citizens. Republicans accuse Democrats of being stingy with state dollars, noting the budget is $40 billion and Democrats' bill provides about $400 million in property tax relief. Instead of really thinking about and putting people first, putting Coloradoans first, we put government first. Republican Senator Barb Kirkmeyer, who sits on the Joint Budget Committee, says local governments will see property taxes grow by $4 billion next year. She says they can take a bigger cut. Democrats' plan calls for essentially the same relief in Proposition HH. The average homeowner would save about $240 a year on a $500,000 home. Fire, ambulance, and hospital districts would be fully reimbursed for lost revenue, along with schools and some small local governments that haven't seen big increases in property values. We have to stay within the confines of what we've budgeted. We budgeted $200 million for this purpose, and so we're going to have to stick to what we budgeted. Democratic Senator Rachel Zenzinger, who also sits on the Joint Budget Committee, says Democrats are stretching state dollars as far as they can, while Republicans have pushed for more significant relief using the state reserve to backfill local governments. Zenzinger says it would be a mistake. The point of a state reserve is in order to protect the state budget so that it can function in the case of a downturn. Our current reserves are not even sufficient in order to be able to ride the waves of an economic recession or downturn. She says the state reserve has about $2.2 billion. During COVID, she says they cut $3.3 billion. All of our forecasters have said a recession is coming. Uh, we are already seeing a softening of the economy. We need to be mindful of that. Uh, we, we, we have to make sure that we live within our means. Office of State Planning and Budget said there's a 30 percent chance or less that we're going to have a recession. We've got record healthy fund balances. It's there. This state does not have a revenue problem. This state, through the legislature and the governor, have a prioritization problem. In addition to property tax relief, Democrats are also using the special session to provide tax relief to lower income Coloradans who may not own property. The House passed a bill expanding the earned income tax credit by $185 million and gave initial approval to a bill that provides $30 million to help with rent and utilities. Another bill would dole out Tabor refunds equally. Sean Boyd covering Colorado first.